Hi guys, welcome back. It's Professor Hank, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the address operator to get the address of variables in C++. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to find the address of a variable, you simply use the address operator. And what's the address operator? It's just a single ampersand. That's it. That's all you have. So let's go ahead and see how we can use this. So let's say that we have a variable X, okay? And we're gonna assign to X uh, 25, all right? Now, if we wanted to know what the memory address of X is, what we could do is we could use the ampersand like so. So you can do something like this. The memory address of X is, right? And so that ampersand X will give you the memory address. Okay, so we can do that and then we'll see what the contents, the contents of X is. Okay, and then we'll just display the contents of X. All right, and we gotta put an L there and we gotta put an L there. Okay, uh, and then we can also show you, I don't know, the size of X. The size of X is and then we'll do use the size of operator and then x and then we are done so when i run this the first thing we're going to see is we're going to see the memory address of x now that's not set that number is not set it's going to be just whatever the uh, location is that x has been assigned to at at runtime right so you see here that the memory address of x is Bunch of zeros, 83E93BF824. Now, what is that? That's hexadecimal. Okay, so C++ by default is going to show you the memory address in hex, right? So this is a hexadecimal number, and that is the address of variable x. The contents of x is 25, as you can see, and the size of x is going to be 4, right? Because a integer is 4 bytes. Okay, so we can use this with other data types as well, say double, and we'll assign to x 2.5, and then you'll see that uh, we've got our memory address there. Again, in hexadecimal, the contents of x is 2.5, and the size is eight because doubles are eight bytes. For those of you who are wondering what a memory address is in the first place, memory address is the address of the first byte of your variable. All right, so every single memory location, every single byte in your computer is going to have a number that's associated with it. That's your memory address. And it's the first byte for the variable. So let's say that you had a variable that was type care. Okay, so it's one byte. So you're gonna see that uh, the address is the byte itself. So let's say you had a variable named letter. Okay, let's say that you had a short named number. Well, that's two bytes. The memory address is going to be the first byte of the variable, all right? So that's the memory address you get. You don't get the second byte, you get the first one. And then let's say you had a four byte integer named amount, say. Well, the memory address you're gonna get back is gonna be the memory address of the first byte of that variable. Even though there's four bytes, you get the memory address of the very first one. Okay, so that's gonna bring this video to a close. If you're a student of mine, you have questions about any of the topics that were covered in this video, feel free to drop me an email, stop by my office hours, or hit me up on Zoom online. For the rest of you, if you thought the video was useful, please consider giving a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked, you got the thumbs down button as well. Consider supporting the channel in various ways. You can subscribe, you can join as a member with additional perks for as little as 99 cents. Leave a comment, whatever. But most of all, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.